Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut and we want to start off going straight into something. Our global partners, we don't pay them enough respect, do we? I mean, no. no I mean, well, like they're flying the flag internationally for us. Yeah. Um, We've got quite a lot all over the globe now and there's one particular video that I'm going to talk about <laughs> which just blew me away and the effort that um, the guys at Unique Concept in Brazil put into this video, it's like it's their own. It's a movie. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like Bad Boys 2 like palm trees, sunshine, <laughs> yeah. rolling shots, like incredible. Look, let's just not waffle on about it. Let's just, let's just it. go straight to it. Like you, yeah. Oh, that's a bad, that's not a bad shout. Oh, well done. There you go, mate. Put your feet up. Is that right? Like, where let's, do you want let's, it? Let's, let's show the face of that. It's not that's a beautiful wheel, it's isn't it? Wheel, we yeah. don't talk about that enough. We don't talk about polished, well, not even, uh, like clear coated wheels. You can see the detail in well, this. Well, when I, when I talk about silver or polished wheels, you laugh at me and say, Matt Black. No, better. but every time we go to buy a set of silver wheels or put a set of silver wheels on a car, no one wants to buy it. We market it, it's all great. We all go, silver wheels look great. Good. They look and awesome. They just don't sell. We, put it, we put it for sale, yeah, I know. and someone says, Can I buy that? But can I change the wheels to buy it? You know what it is? It's not, you know, the, um, the Americans, like Miami and, and all that, in sunshine states and stuff. I know, they, that's where I should be. I'm looking at holidays. I, on I there did now. notice on your screen, yeah. said, since the mood, right? <laughs> you know, holidays. Since the mood, I just looked over at his screen. I said, Are you looking at holidays? So. You, you don't want to be here, do you, at the moment? Yeah, my departure is nigh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you see like, a lot of the um, yeah the, the US guys, they have better roads than us. They don't have salty, gritty roads and stuff like that, do they? So... I'm going to put this to a poll. Get in the comments. Tell us, silver wheels or black wheels, are black wheels done? Should we do more silver? I, I think I think we should, but, that's just, but then again, it is personal Every taste. Every time we do it, yeah. it always yeah. fails. I, know. Can you, you know, I love the car, can you paint the wheels black? Yeah, and I <laughs> pay extra to have this hand felled it's beautiful. and clear coated oh. And then we pay double to paint it black <laughs> every time we do yeah. it. Right, okay, so that's that. Let's get into this. So last week, built my Urus. Thanks everyone for picking the colour. I was a bit worried that Tiffany green and yellow calipers was going to like be a problem, but yeah. it wasn't. The colour went down really well. We went to a show at the weekend. Yeah, we went to DMO's um, Supercar Sunday private event. And it, it, Very got, good, yeah. Yeah, we had the really, weather. Really, really it good. was really, really good. But the, um, the Urus was met with a great reception, wasn't it? It yeah. was um, a, a lot of people liked it. Um, there was a lot of like standard Uruses there as well. So it was like it was... six in a row, weren't yeah. there? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so mine and Jan's uh, stood out really quite stood. nicely and, and in the centre. And what was nice is that such a huge contrast between yours and Yanni's. Yeah. Obviously, he goes for the, like, the chrome wraps and the white wheels, which is Larry. Yeah. And then uh, yours is a little bit more... Gentlemen, though, aren't I? Well, yeah. sort of. Sort of, yeah. So I've got a bit of a dilemma. Right, I'm kind of like known for not having a car. Because I, 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 I generally, genuinely, genuinely don't need a car. 
because I live so close to work, mm. I get a lift in or I use a courtesy car because I'm not actually bothered, believe it or not. <laughs> but I ordered three cars. I planned to have an XRS, yep. which was kind of like my baby, number so I wanted number one. Yep. I'd ordered a Urus, which ended up coming forward, but I also ordered an RS3, a new RS3 saloon, because I've got a love for those sh shape saloons. The B5, is it RS4? The manual V8, is that? B. Is it B5? The last That's manual it? V8 one, last who knows? Last manual knows? V8 RS4, B5. Oh. Yeah. We, B4, you know B5, you know B8, one, whatever we'll, it was. We'll stick a picture somewhere. Yeah, right, just there. Right, where? Right. Right, remember this. Look at Canvas Basement. Look at Canvas Basement. You know I'm putting pictures in. Right, there. There. I'm going to say there. Yeah. Right. Um, so I've got a thing about saloons like that, and obviously the new RS3 saloon is about the same size as the old RS4. Yeah. Small, nimble, agile. Just, I'm a just, shit driver, it's so just basically. It's another car that you're just going to get rid of in a couple of months. The Urus, are you enjoying it? Do you like it? Love it, yeah. But I have a dilemma. I don't want I don't want or need three cars because I only need zero cars. So now I have my first ever three car garage. So I'm Which gonna is a great three car I garage. Because the RS3 is like perfect daily. Yeah. Um, the XRS is your baby. It's that's that's like your pro special project. And, and the Urus is the Pollock. It's like it's the, it's like that's but a But the problem car. I have is three miles. And, and I don't, don't need three cars. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what's happening this week then? So this week we have got the T6 van. Panel van. Yeah, yeah so panel van version, not combi, which did sell, didn't sell, did sell, didn't sell. Yep. And the reason we didn't do a promo on it is because it had already sold, but it hasn't now. It's back available, so we'll do a little edit on that. We've got Lloyd's Tesla, yeah. uh, which is pretty nice cool build here. That. Yeah. Um, and then what else? And you got your car of the week? Car of the week, beautiful silver Audi RS6. Ah, with full kit, yeah. Layer cake vibes. Do you remember the, fir the seat, first five minutes? Oh, the it's silver, to... isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's silvery grey. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so lovely thing that. So yeah, I'll show you everyone nice. on that. So on that note, let's go to the workshop. So the other week we had a customer come and collect his Defender 110 that we'd wrapped sat in black and our full wide track conversion on. When he came to collect the vehicle, he actually swapped it over with his Tesla Model 3, which we're gonna do a full conversion on. Uh, many people don't know that we actually do a kit for the X, the S and the 3. Um, so I'll run you through some of the subtle modifications that we've done to this car. So this customer has opted for the carbon fibre front splitter, the carbon fibre side sills, and then also a carbon rear diffuser. We've then gone ahead and changed the wheels. So we've gone for some Vossen HF5s in satin bronze, which is a little bit different. And then we've also lowered the car, which it really needed. We didn't do it at the start. Um, I showed some pictures of the customer and it really turned out well. Um, one of the final touches we did was we've actually wrapped the front and rear badges in satin black, um, which the customer doesn't know about, but it's a really nice little detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it on charge around the front so it's 100% ready for the customer.
one button, you're asking me how can you if I can use a GoPro? You're joking. <laughs> is it on now? Is it? It's on. Right. It is on. I'm scared of technology. You see. You don't have to be scared, Lenny. We're going to teach you the ways of the samurai today. It's Perfect. All good. So, my Mercedes. Yeah. Um, it's been, this facelift model has been out for about a year and a half, and no one has come up yet with a nice split for it. Yeah. And in my opinion, it's the only thing that will finish it off. Yeah, you know, yeah, I've lowered no it, big wheels, rear spoiler, blacked out a few bits. I'm happy with it. But that's front, it, it just it, brings the level of the car it, down, Exactly, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, because no one has bought anything to market that I, I like, we work at Urban Automotive. You we some strings. We just, <laughs> yeah. So who you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what it's like. <laughs> um, we've designed something and we're going to manufacture it ourselves. So I'm really excited because I've been with Urban now for nearly seven years and um, I'm going to have an Urban product in my car. Yeah, it'd be cool. We'll, no, we'll, we'll no, show you the I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. It's good. Yeah, nice. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Right, everyone, so we've landed at Freeform. I'm with my manufacturing director, Reese, and we're with Fred uh, from Freeform, and he's going to show us what we're doing here. I can already see something in this big, vast, expensive, impressive looking booth. I haven't got a clue what is going to be going on, so I'm hoping Fred's going to be able to shed some light, but it all looks very interesting. Reese, do you know sort of what? Yeah, what so basically, uh, Fred here is going to show us around how our, the machine recuts this. So right. this is actually our old RS4 splitter. Okay. And then we're going to remachine it to reuse the product to make your splitter. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Nice and easy. So we'll just talk through the process a little bit, I think, when we go through it. Are you actually going to be able to machine anything from this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's all ready to go. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get the, the datums have been set on the machine. Just need to close the doors, just have a double check and make sure everything's in the right place. Yeah, spot on. Hit the gas and then uh, we'll see some dust flying and nice. um, we'll get a nice new splitter for Lenny over here. Perfect. Yeah, sounds nice. good. Yeah, right. nice. Right, so we're now ready to do what we've got to do. I mean, I assume it's one big green button that has to be pressed now. I'm sure it's a little bit more technical than that, but no, that's it. No, no. <laughs> so no you've shown us up. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, tell us what we've got to do then, Fred. Well, what we're going to do, um, the machine has had all the datum loaded in, and then we can hit the gas. And it is, uh, it's not a green button, it's white. Oh, it's right, oh, okay. Do you fancy pressing it, Lenny, for prosperity? Oh, prosperity? Really? Yeah, 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 I reckon you got it in you. Yeah. Come on. Right, so right. if you get it loaded up, mate. Yeah, just tell me when. Now? Not that one! <laughs> no, they're joking. <laughs> ah, I got him. <laughs> this one, yeah? There we go, I'm making my own splitter. When can you start? That's it, that's it, perfect. So you can look inside the machine now and you can see that part come down. So that's going to come down, rotate in all different directions and then machine your splitter out, Lenny. Oh, it's just doing the tool change, is it? That's it. Yeah, we're starting off with a oh, roughing so tool. The... Yeah. Yeah, so we've got like a larger roughing tool there, 50 millimetres, and it will, uh, it's going to rough away the old part. And uh, hopefully we'll get your new one emerge out of the older one. Oh wow, that's quite impressive. That's it's really quite good cool. for economical as well, isn't it? Like you reusing the, one of our old parts to make yeah. you a bit. Yeah, big sustainability drive at the minute. People are very keen to reuse old tooling blocks because it's hard to recycle. So anything that we can do like this is, is fantastic. Avoid stuff going into landfill. Yeah, yeah. Sounds really good. Because normally you start from a big brand new block, don't you? That's yeah, like yeah. glued together and then machine the whole outside of it out. So is this like one of your biggest roughing cutters, is it? Uh, that's, yeah, it's 50 mil, it's the largest one we probably use. Yeah. And uh, you can do a sort of a five, six mil depth of cut. And yeah. uh, like I say, it's pretty fast to oh, it is fast, spin through it. it. Yeah, once it gets going. Um, and again, due to the nature of the job, it, was, it will move around a little bit in an odd manner. Whereas if it was a big square block, you'd rough it away a lot faster. Yeah. Right, okay. Something very satisfying about it. Oh, so yeah. I'm not going to stand here for the full, <laughs> what, seven hours? You <laughs> <laughs> 
That is really, that's really, I mean, I've been with Urban now for like, you know, six, seven years, and, I, and embarrassingly, I've never seen this process, do you know what I mean? And it's, it is really, really cool, really interesting. So, yeah, so then do you have to, so when you've got our CAD design and we've given you the data over, do you have to go in manually and draw the software of where the tooling's going to go or is well, it one of them things that generates it and then you just modify it to make sure it's right? Well what we do, we'll get your uh, CAD design which is supplied by yourselves um, and then we use, uh, it's called CAM software which is yeah. computer aided uh, manufacturing or machining. Uh, it's a software that where we will put the tool paths on the job so you'll, we'll bring it into like a, a virtual space. Yeah. We'll uh, position it so where the machine can recognize it. And then uh, the guys will, will use the software to put the tool paths on. Yeah. So they'll, they'll, this will be part of it. We'll be roughing it out. And then we'll go on to the semi-finish and then the finish. Yeah, OK, no worries. So then, obviously, different cutters have different speeds as well. So the actual spindle speed and then there's traveling speed as well. So I guess you can adjust that as it's machining. Yeah, speeds and feeds are all adjusted upstairs. Yeah. Um, for this sort of thing, they're all uh, templated anyway. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we've been machining this for ages. So we have our set speeds and feeds for different through. types oh, of okay, material. So, yeah, if it's like a higher density material, you obviously slow it down. Yeah. Smaller depth of cut, whereas this is quite a lighter density one. Yeah. You can just rip through it and then... Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so what would you use the higher density PU for? S uh, similar material, uh, yeah, similar tooling, just slow it down. Okay. Or, uh, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, the bulk of what we do is the, the lighter density stuff. Yeah. Uh, for other, like pre-preg carbon uh, applications, we'd use like an epoxy tooling board yeah. rather than like PU. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's all customer specific. So uh, yeah, whatever they need, we'll machine. So this is the PU, so we're thinking we might be able to do the aluminium tooling for the manufacturing side of the business as well, using one of their other machines. So I think that's probably time for a couple of tea then. A couple of tea and then come back in six hours to see how we're getting on. Sounds Hopefully good. Hopefully it won't be crashed. <laughs> <laughs>
never happens, but I'm not keeping three cars, obviously. I'm going to keep two. I know which two. Already I know which two. I haven't told you which two. No, I know, you, but I know already. No, I know what already. two cars do you think I'm going to keep out of these? Is it going to be the two, be the two beasts and get rid of the little saloon? The little, what, the little 70 grand saloon? It's not so like little, 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 little £60,000. Was it? Yeah. Oh, the little £60,000 saloon. Like, it's smart though. No, it's, it's, yeah, it is, but you can't And it will just... look great with a front lip with some seals. Um, this one is the carbon black edition. It already comes with a spoiler. I didn't even realise. Audi actually... have already shipped it with a spoiler. I'm actually surprised with how much carbon it's got. I was I know, surprised when it turned up. Yeah. So yeah. So is it going to be the Urus and the RS3, the Defender XRS? Obviously, this is my one. This is number one. This is V8 Herb. It, it dons the plate that you know we bought the first plate we bought for the company. And I'm. I oh, would you. I know. Ah. I know. I know exactly which two you are, but I'm not going to. Spoil it and everyone get in the comments and see if which two, I'm right. Which two do you think I'm going to keep? On that note, so from one RS vehicle to another, I'm off to Old Stratford for Lenny's Used Car of the Week. So, due to the resounding success of Lenny's Used Car of the Week, we're back here again at Urban Approved Used. And today, Brett has shown me this. What we've got here, bruv? Audi RS6, haven't we? But you've already said to me you don't know too much about Audi RS6s, so I'm going to go through it. <laughs> Thanks, gonna... Len. You do that. Florette I know Sil it's silver. Florette silver. Florette, I know or it's Florette Florette silver. silver. Thanks for that, Tom. That's good. I like that. Um, but this is an approved used car that, you, that you've sourced, and then obviously we've kitted up to yeah, put it on the market and make it a little bit different to everything else on the market. Yeah. And this is the first one I've seen in silver. Looks awesome, doesn't it? I like it, it in silver. Yeah, it looks lovely. Well, the thing is, carbon fiber is obviously quite dark anyway. Yeah. Gloss black wheels, just a nice contrast, isn't it? I think if you get a silver one, everything just pings against you it. You know what I like about a silver or grey RS6? Do you remember the first five minutes of layer cake? Oh, Do you remember yeah. the RS6 and the it goes silver. up to. Yeah. Layer cake. Tell me you've seen layer cake. He hasn't right, seen that. Right, so I asked him when, how, old he, how old he was when Lay Cake came out. Was it 2006, wasn't it? He was seven years old. Oh my seven, God. I know. Joking. I'm literally old enough to be his dad. That's, I'm 40 next year, and he's, what are you? 22. Like, if I was oh. doing bits early, like, I'm literally old enough to be your dad. I've got some of them here, Len. I feel like giving him a slap for not watching Layer Cake, not, not catching up. Do you know what I mean? I think we should give him an afternoon off just to watch it. What about the business? Have you seen the business? Have you seen the business? Football Factory? Rise no. of the Foot Soldier? Have you seen How Rise of the Foot Soldier? Oh, It's a generational They're thing. missing out. They're yeah. too busy on Xboxes. Well, I'll make you a list. I'll make you a list. So, um, can I replicate that? Yeah. This ain't been prepped yet, has it? No. So, can I take it out for a little blast? Of course you can. Just to make sure that, you know, things um, okay. And You're going to take the boys with you? Just a little test drive. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. So usually when we go out on these little drives, there's another car with us, with the media team. But I thought, well, this time, we're in a nice, spacious Audi estate. Might as well bring the boys with me. So I've got media manager Tom here, got Cam on cam, got Brandon, our photographer. We're just gonna go for a little drive to show how practical the RS6 is. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah I was hoping to get a lot of reaction. <laughs> Brett's going to be very angry with me using all his fuel. So is it comfortable in the back there? Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah? Fun. You've got plenty of leg room and... Loads of leg room, great lumbar support. Perfect. All the kit in the back as well. In the yeah. All the kit in the back. So yeah. this would be a perfect... Well, I'm going to chat to Simon. This so is a road trip car, yeah, across Europe, the fly, the, car fly the urban flag, yeah. Brand fuel card, of course. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's probably not Simon we need to convince though, because this is one of Brett's stock cars. So I'll, to, I'll, I'll leave that to you I'll though. To Brett, I'll, yeah. I'll leave that to you. I'll chat to Brett when we get back. That's what I love about the RS6. It's so practical. You got what? Just over 600 brake horsepower. Enough for five people and kit. And just from driving around here, it's a proper head turner as well. Perfect. I mean, that was like up to 70 straight away. Well, 60, that was up to 60, 60. straight away. <laughs>
That's it. Just that. I'm literally going to kill him. He's back. Where you been? It's only five times we've been out. You might need to stick some fuel in it now. What's it down to now? Uh, I'll do you the ticket, 40 quid. Are you going to go and fill it up? You're going to invoice me? Yeah. Take Sorry, mate, breath. HQ, not this. It's a used car, this is used car business. Park her up. Thanks for the loan. Park her up. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Jackass. I mean, Urban Automotive. <laughs> I don't look right. You look, you look nervous already. Oh, Gav, what are you saying? What's your yeah. spice level? I'm not quite like lemon and herb, but I'm like, I'm definitely not this. Like, I'm kind of like just above Korma, under Madras, not, but Spells definitely like not death. Vindaloo. No, so I'm our friends, our, you're lemon and herb. No, so I'm our friends, Wing Kings, have, have set us a challenge to eat 15 of these bonus chicken wings with their hottest. Flavor. I, 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 I'm almost lost for words. I, I, I don't know why I agreed to this. Harms, I don't know why I agreed to this. Like, you I just, sucked me into this. Yeah, I know, but I needed, I needed I'm support. I know I needed support, but you're not like, you're not helping me out here. I mean, there's gloves. We've had to sign our life away. Yeah, You've signed the yeah, waiver. I don't trust that. I'm a bit like. What? Like, <laughs> I asked Aaron, like, I said to him, like, do I need to tell my missus how much I pay for my Stone Island and stuff in case I do cop, she gets a good amount of money for it. The worst it. bit is they're laughing. I know they are, because <laughs> they've done the challenge. <laughs> On the fellow, this is Wing Kings of Urban Automotive. They're trying our Reaper Challenge. 15 wings, 10 minutes of our hottest flavor. I don't think these boys have got it in the bag, but we're gonna see if they can do it. Let's get started. Right, who's gonna go first? Did you say Reaper? Who's going first? <laughs> you, you signed up for this. <laughs> I might get that ready. What's it saying? Instant. <laughs> Which video's gonna be a McNugget? I was hoping so. Oh, you're right, that's made it worse. Yeah, the water's made it worse. <coughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's terrible. It's terrible. Feels like my eyes are bleeding. Get involved. Nah, sorry boys, I'm done. Four. <coughs> Four. I did a five. Oh, man. I did like half a week. Two. Yeah, well out. Done. Well, that was it. As you can see, these guys couldn't complete the challenge. Do you think you can do it? Give us a shout. This is fire in the office. Oh, man. Did you think that would be a good idea? Right, boys. Come and have a go. Come on. Get involved. Cab. It even smells like fire. Try it. Wow. Sorry, cab. Go on. You can't laugh at me until you try it, then you can laugh at me. Bomba, that's all I managed to do. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I openly challenge Deutsche Tech. Let's do that. Deutsche Tech, local company, another car company, Ben and the boys. We did what well, I did for, right? I did for, and there's like, a, like half out of these two. Are you calling people out? I'm calling like the, the water challenge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm challenging Deutsche. If you can do more than five, if you can do more than five. There we go. Woo! I did four, you can do half of them. I realise that's my wife, mate. <laughs> Goblins and monkeys. Goblins and monkeys and yeah. bored apes and. No, I can't afford a board ape. Oh. They're too expensive. Is there board goblins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there a lot of the goblins that you bought? Is there a board version where they're no, just sat there like that? No, goblins have just come out. Oh, okay. But I can't afford a board, board ape. Right. They're a quarter of a million pounds per picture. Per picture. Picture, yeah. Anyway, we've got to the end of this week's Urban Uncut. And I'm still sweating from yesterday. How was you yesterday? How was you this morning? I was fighting for my life this morning. That's hot. That was really, that was really hot. You I don't, don't even like hot. You, no, I know. You but... registered your heat somewhere between. Well, Korma, you told me this Korma morning. And <laughs> that but was... it's got four curries between Cormor and Madras. Yeah, no, it's tough. That's tough. Funny though. Um, like I'm surprised you wasn't ill. That would have. That no, would have no, made me, no, was, hurt no, me. No, it was all, for 20 minutes. It was hot, but no, I was fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm all good. I'm all good. So. People need to get in the comments oh, yeah, and yeah. they need so to choose your two cars. My two cars in the comments, which two would you keep 
or which two should I keep? Yes, Either exactly. Or. Either or. Um, and it's the Queen's Jubilee next week, so it's not really business as usual next no, week, is it? No, we've got three days in the office, so we're not doing a vlog next week. We've got a lovely edit to come to you from the guys over at Vossen. They've done two of our Defender V8s, mm -hmm. actually featuring the UVX wheel, Ooh, which is nice. on, on the um, XRS, but they've done a lovely video. We've seen that, that's amazing. So we're just gonna give you that little snippet next Perfect. week, and then we'll be back the week after. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe.